Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be exploring an original copy of Sonic the Hedgehog 2. And we're going to be looking at like the box art, the cartridge, and like the instruction manual. So basically everything that came with it back in the day. I may be missing like a few posters and stuff since those are pretty hard to track down. Unfortunately I only have the cartridge manual on box here, but that's definitely enough to, to look at. And we have a lot of things to uh, cover. And as well as that, I'm also going to be looking at two different variants of the box, which have slight details that I want to talk about. So, it's going to be pretty fun. So, yeah, let's get started. Alright, so starting off, I'm going to take the uh, game aside and just look at the box. So, here we have the classic artwork here. I'm sure many of you have seen it. It's even in the uh, Sonic movie 2, they did like a little reference to it, which is pretty cool, on one of the movie posters, I think. But yeah, so we have Dr. Robotnik with the, the, the soul eyes, I don't know how else to say it, just the no eyes. <laughs> and he's like crushing the two with the rocks, it's just it's pretty cool. And Sonic Tail's just standing there in the void, the blue void. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's really cool box art, I really think it looks awesome. You got the classic Genesis checkerboard pattern all around, which was a kind of a thing early on in the Genesis life. A lot of games had the same style of sorts, even like Sonic 1. And then right here we have the official Sega seal of quality. So as you notice, I'm actually using a different camera angle than my previous videos, because I think this is going to be much better for showing off the details, because I can get real close and give you really clear shots of everything. So, yeah, we're going to be doing this from now on. I'll probably still use the bird's eye view for some shots or just some videos because some things are just larger and they're not going to fit in this space. But I think most of my showcases will now be with um, this view because I can just really get close up and really give you some nice, clear shots of everything. So you can just see it better overall. Just I think it'd just be much better. Same with the lighting. Won't be as many shadows. So hopefully this is an upgrade. So anyway, <laughs> I was rambling, but back to the box. So the spine here, pretty simple. The checker pattern just continues. We got the Genesis logo, a Sonic 2 logo, and just a barcode. And then on the back, we have some pretty cool stuff. So it says Sonic and Tails team up. And notice how Tails is in quotes here. That's because that's like his nickname, because I'm sure many of you know this, but Tails' real name is Miles, or Miles Per Hour. That's the full thing, I think. Tails, Miles Per Hour, something. <laughs> it's, it's really weird, but... <laughs> Yeah, so let's take a look at some of the screenshots that are featured here. So, first up we have Chemical Plant, which is interesting because I would figure Emerald Hill would be first, but no, we don't even see the first zone um, featured, which is pretty interesting because usually you would see the first level in a video game featured on the box. At least I think so. Anyway, I thought that was kind of cool. Anyways, we have a <laughs> Chemical Plant here, Aquatic Ruin, Oil Ocean Zone, and the Special Stage with the, <laughs> the cool... <laughs> That, that's when you get like the reach the gold for that specific section in the stage. You get like you gotta get the ring stuff. I'm sure most of the people watching this know what Sonic 2 is, so I don't need to say all this, but yeah, so some simple things like super speed, super play, super power, one or two players, which is pretty cool, since uh the other person can play Tails. Even though they get left behind constantly and it's kind of annoying, but it, it's 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 two player. <laughs> but yeah, we got just like a basic description, like Sonic, Sonic's back and better than ever. He's a blur and blue, a blaze of action, with with the new Super Spin Dash, and a new fabulous friend, Tails the Fox. <laughs> I love I love all these old sayings like blur and blue, blaze of action. <laughs> Just all these '90s box arts always had stuff like that. But yeah, this is the game uh, Tails was introduced, the very first game. This is the second game in the Sonic franchise, and yeah, this is when Tails the Fox was introduced. And isn't he just adorable? <laughs> I love this artwork of Tails here. And Sonic. A lot of people don't like the American box art, but I love it. <laughs> so anyway, back to the back. Ba back to the back. <laughs> so the last thing I want to say is down here we just have a few texts of Sega Genesis, Sonic Hedgehog, trademarks of Sega. Yeah, all that stuff. Expected. There's a number code here. I think that has to do with the uh, version. So yeah, this is the uh, retail copy of Sonic 2. So just the uh, original release. Like, I'm sure they had different waves. Oops. They had the different waves of it, but this was like the uh, first, first edition, I guess. Like, I don't, I don't know for sure, but <laughs> you know, as we'll see later, there's different. Uh, there's a more common, I think, more common version of Sonic 2, and we will get to that later. But this is kind of just like the main version. This is the Sonic 2, you know. If you would just buy it on the shelf. Oh yeah, the last thing I want to mention is the little hang tab here, which is pretty cool. So all these clamshell, these plastic cases for Genesis games had these hang tabs. And they got ripped off pretty easily, so I seeked out copies that had them, because I just kind of wanted it all to be intact. 
But this is just what you would hang on a store shelf, you know, just hang it on the wall, whatever. You pull it off the shelf, and yeah. They're just, they're just there so you can hang them on racks in stores. So anyway, enough about the box, let's get inside. So here's where the cartridge is stored. I took it out earlier, but I'll put it back in real quick. So it literally just snaps in here. Really nice. I, I really wish um, more games had these cases. Like, I, I guess, I, how do I say this? Like, a lot of Genesis games are in cardboard, and they don't have these nice plastic cases. And I just, these are really nice to be on the shelf. They store your games well. It's just much better than cardboard boxes. But a lot of games in the 90s uh, were in cardboard, so it was pretty cool to see this. Like, all of Nintendo stuff was cardboard all the way up until GameCube, if I'm not mistaken? So, yeah, they, they, they loved cardboard. <laughs> so a lot of those boxes were thrown away or beaten up. Anyway, so yeah, let's take a look at the cartridge next. I'm going to put this to the side. This cartridge is pretty simple. We got the same artwork, just cropped a little bit differently. No Sonic 2 logo on the front, which is interesting. But and the weird thing is, Tails is like sticking out, out of the box art into the... Um, the Genesis logo here, which I think is a cool touch. Just a minor detail, but it looks really cool. It just kind of gets that 3D effect, I don't know. Anyway, we've got a nice Sega Genesis logo here with some numbers down there. I'm sure that indicates a certain version I have or whatever. I'm not exactly sure. And my copy's a little scratched up, you know, but it's not too bad, I don't think. I mean, most of the time you don't even see those scratches, so I think it's pretty good. So anyway, on the back here... We have the Sega logo, and this one was made in Japan, which is cool. This will vary, actually, between cartridges. Some are like, made in different areas, but this one specifically is made in Japan. So, I'm not actually sure what this thing is. It's in, like, pretty much every Genesis cartridge, and it's, like, this little gap here. It's, like, indent. I guess it's just so you can hold it better, because it's nicer to hold, I guess. I don't really know. Anyway, so with some text here, we just have some general information, no caution, Avoid exposing cartridge to extreme temperatures, all that stuff. But yeah, oh, and here's where the uh, cartridge, the game actually connects to the console. Pins right here. It's really hard to see with this lighting, but yeah. So mine's a little uh, brown looking, so it's definitely been used, but it still works perfectly fine. But yeah, so that, that, that's basically the game. You know, it's all in there. That is the game <laughs> cartridge. So now let's actually take a look at the instruction manual that came with the game, which is the last thing I have for this to show off, for this version at least. I know, I'm pretty sure it came with posters and maybe a mail card, but I unfortunately don't have anything else. So here's the instruction manual, and it's once again the same box art, I mean, it's pretty much identical, just a little bit skinnier I think. And of course down here, they pushed everything up so you can have room to say instruction manual. So the back of the book actually has an advertisement for another game, World of Illusion, and we get some screenshots here, which are pretty cool. This is a Mickey Mouse game, and Donald Duck is in it, I think, which is pretty cool. New Disney adventure. <laughs> but yeah, it's pretty cool. So anyway, let's, uh, let's get into the manual. Now, I'm not going to go into every single page because, you know, that, that'll take a little while, so I'm just going to kind of blow through it real quick. Not, not, not really blow through it, that's kind of the wrong word there, but kind of just skim through it, I guess, and point out some details I think are interesting, so. Right when we uh, uh, turn it, we immediately get an epilepsy warning. But I'm not sure which is in the first time I game, which is interesting. And it just says stuff about that, you know. And then the, pa the contents page are here. Which I like about up here is it says, are you up to it? Like the number two, which is funny because it's Sonic 2. Let's go to just the very first page after that intro thing. And we have Sonic and Tails with the, um... With the and going diagonal, really stylized here. So we have your basic starting up. It tells you how to just play the game basically with your Sega Genesis and some uh, additional tips. It seems always turn the power switch off when you're inserting or moving the cartridge. Yeah, yeah. That's kind of funny. Down here we said for gameplay help, call the number with the play. So that's kind of cool. You could call someone if you need help with the game, which is which is kind of cool. Right here we kind of get an introduction to the game. So it says find the chaos emeralds. So Miles, Tails, Four Hour, the Fox can't sit still when Sonic's around. Ever since Miles was a baby fox, he's dreamed of being like Sonic. He loves to run after Sonic, waving his two tails behind him, trying to keep up with his hero. I just love that. It's so sweet. And the Sonic and Tails' this friendship is just so awesome. We get a screenshot here, which looks to be in Hilltop Zone, as the indicated by the um, mountains behind there. Oh, and it actually continues all the way up into down here. We even get a glimpse of the final battle, which is kind of cool. They just spoil it right here. But I guess... It's not really a spoiler, it just kind of gets you like excited to play the game and reach this point. But, oh, that boss fight is so annoying. Ugh. I don't think it's very good. It's 
kind of unfair, but oh well. <laughs> it is what it is. So we got a little picture of the Sega Genesis controller here. It says take control. This just tells you how to like do basics. Not gonna go through all that. It's kind of in every Sega Genesis game. So before we get to that, because that is something interesting, <laughs> let's get to this. This this is super stunts. So super spin attack. Press the D button down while moving to spin like wildfire and bump off enemies. So this is actually the spin dash, and this is the introduction to spin dash this game. So essentially how it's called a super spin attack here and not spin dash. Oh wait, hold up. Oh, I'm completely mistaken. That is the super dash attack, which is the spin dash. This is just the roll when you're rolling and you can bounce off enemies. Okay, so my bad. So super spin attack is just when you're running really fast and you press down on the D-pad, you can start rolling so you can blow through enemies or bounce off stuff. Super dash attack is hold still, press the D button down, and press A, B, or C. <laughs> so yeah, that is, that, is the, that is the spin dash there, which was introduced in this game. I, I don't even know why I thought that was that. I just got confused, I guess. Interesting how we actually immediately go from that to Super Twist. <laughs> In the Metropolis Zone, we go all the way, which is the like, last zone of the game. So yeah, it's kind of interesting how you're showing you how to do this one obstacle and not any of the other ones. Like, what about Casino Night where you have to hold down the button to go off the springs, you know? But it's interesting how they just mentioned this uh, pinball attack. Oh, <laughs> silly me. Right here, it says about the other thing I was talking about. So, it's weird how uh, Metropolis is shown first, but... I guess I should have just read before speaking because right there it tells you how to do the Casino Night Zone one. Anyway, so this getting started page is really interesting. Look at the screenshot used here. This is actually from a beta version of the game or an earlier build because the final screen, the final title screen does not look like this at all, but the beta version does. You can see it's completely different artwork for Sonic and Tails and um, I'll, I'll get a comparison image uh, right, right now through editing of what the final title screen looks like. And then this is what the beta title screen looks like. So it's interesting how they use that there, and they didn't update it before releasing the game. I don't know. I guess the manual was probably made a little bit before the game releases, obviously. And I guess changing the title screen was one of the later things they did. Or they just forgot, <laughs> and they just didn't think about it. Anyway, we have just kind of introduction on how to start the game, or how to do the two-player mode. You know, options menu, of course. And then race for the rings. This is just some more tips about scoring and timer and all that stuff. So there's another page I'm trying to get to. I think this is it. Super items. So this is just your basic items. Same ones from Sonic 2. I mean Sonic 1 really. So yeah, <laughs> they use Metropolis Zone here again. The annoying Mantis uh, enemy. I forgot the Badnik's name, but man those things are quite annoying. Pretty much every Badnik in that zone is annoying. Star posts, which are your checkpoints. And here we go. Here's the here's the fun part. We got nice illustrations of all the Badniks in the game, which is awesome. Even Dr. Robotnik himself. At the end of every zone, Dr. Robotnik attacks in a fantastic robot machine. Defeat him and free some of your friends from their prison egg. Okay, so they're called prison eggs. I guess, okay, so all the animals that are kept inside these Badniks are called prison eggs, apparently. That's not something I even knew about. Interesting. Anyway, I like the nice little Robotnik illustration there, and laughing, it's funny. And then, yeah, so now it's actually sorted by um, zone that they appear in, so I'm gonna quickly look at them all. So, this guy is commonly called Chomper, but I think that's the Sonic 1 version. So the Sonic 2 one is called a Masher, same here. Got Buzzer, Coconuts, and yes, that's his name. Grabber, Spiny, and so on and so on. Lots of great <laughs> bad night designs here. And what do you know, there's Grounder. <laughs> which is used in the cartoon, Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog. It changed designs slightly, but it's basically the same. Lots of nice illustrations here. I'm just going to be taking a look at them real quick. They're really good, though. The only thing is I wish they were in color, but it's okay. I'm pretty sure the uh, Japanese manual has them in color, but unfortunately I don't have that, so I can't show it. Maybe one day, if I get it, I'll make a video on it. <laughs> so, yeah, lots of cool. And look, final, last but not least, we got this one. <laughs> and it's a chicken, of course. But yeah, that's great. So now we have a page on special stage. This kind of shows you game over, continue scoring, two-player mode stuff. You play a regular zone, more two-player stuff. And then handling the cartridge. 
The Sega Genesis cartridge is intended to use exclusively on the Sega Genesis system. Do not use it on other consoles. <laughs> Do not bend it, crush it, or submerge it in liquids. Like, seriously, why did they really have to say that? <laughs> Be sure to take an occasional break during extended play to rest yourself and the Sega cartridge. So you gotta rest the cartridge too. This this needs a break as well, which is interesting. And warning to owners of, of projection TVs. So yeah, projection TVs could have an issue with that because of screen burn-in. There's your limited warranty, repairs, all that. And yeah, that's kind of basically the manual. So yeah, pretty cool. Lots of nice information. I love the illustrations of the badniks. That's always my favorite part to look at. It's a, it's a really it's a really nice manual. It tells you basics, tells you hints, like secrets, uh, tricks, all that good stuff. So yeah, now it is time to do comparisons and look at the other box variants. I'm going to start with this one because it's basically the same thing, except for one thing, as you may notice, and that says not for resale. So what that means is this was packaged with bundles. So like when you bought a Sega Genesis, it came with Sonic 2, then your version will say this. And that, that's basically, t to my knowledge, <laughs> is saying, telling store owners to not open the Sega Genesis take the game out and then sell it individually, like like this one. They want you to keep it with the Genesis so they come together. That is why it says not for resale. So literally everything is identical except for this like the stamp thing that's printed on. Like really, it's, it's the same. However, the cartridge has one more um, thingy and it just also has that stamp not for resale on it. Anyway, so as you can see, it just simply says not for resale. And while the original one doesn't. <laughs> that, that's literally it. That's the only difference. Game is exactly the same. I believe this is the most common version of the game. And this is a little rare, but still not rare at all. Sonic 2 is <laughs> extremely cheap because of how successful it was. So many copies in the wild. You can get them pretty cheap on eBay. Probably for about 15 bucks, 20 bucks. Not too bad. I paid $9 for this one, but it was missing the manual. And then I later got the manual to complete it. So really good deal. I'm always seeking out deals, but yeah. This one, I think, was $20, and I got it with Sonic Spinball. So, another uh, good deal, in my opinion. But yeah, Sonic 2, classic game, iconic game, not really hard to get, so if you're a collector or you just play on original hardware like me, then this is definitely one I recommend getting because it's iconic, it's fun, it's great, and if you don't really care about this too much, this, this one will be a little bit harder to get since it's just the original release. But you can pretty much easily get enough for resale. Like, they're still both really cheap. You can find these for this route in the same price as this. I don't think the prices change too much, depending on the version. But yeah, so we have one more variant to look at. And this one's actually pretty cool because it's a regional variant. So I believe this one was from Europe, which is really cool. And as you can see, it says Mega Drive instead of Genesis here. And that is what it's called everywhere else in the world, except for the US, so... We have a few more differences to look at here, so starting with the box art, let me get the original to kind of compare it. I'm going to put the not for resale up. So let's kind of compare this. So the box art is mostly the same, but as you can see, Sonic and Tails are moved up a bit. On the US one, Sonic's, I mean Tails, his foot is like going, the words are on top of his foot. But on this one, his foot is on top of the words, which is that 3D effect I said I like, which is actually on the American cartridge. So why they didn't just like do the same like I don't know why the layering is different but I prefer it being 3D here than it being behind honestly but yeah so the artworks are basically the same which is actually unusual for um, regional variants and usually you have a completely different illustration but here it's basically the same just with some swapped uh, logo with some swapped logos <laughs> what, what am I saying basically the same with some swapped logos Genesis Mega Drive it still says Sonic 2 same logo and everything but as near the bottom, we get some differences because here it actually says 16-bit cartridges, 16-bit car cartridge, and it says for use with the Sega Mega Drive Entertainment System. And we have a nice blue Sega logo, which is interesting because you usually you didn't really see the blue logo on boxes too often. Like you did, but like not on the Sonic 2 at least. Sonic 1 and 2 didn't have that, which is pretty interesting. So yeah, of course I have not even said the obvious thing yet. Checkers are yellow and orange instead of black here. And I honestly really like it. I think it looks cool. I really like how this has angled up here. You see the gray border of the uh, checkers, like angle up, goes here, goes down. It's just, it's really cool. And you know, on this one, it's just flat. <laughs> so this one honestly might have just a better design. It just, it just looks cooler. So going into the spine now, they are basically the uh, same. 
just the Omega Drive European one has the logo there and no barcode. And also, it's a little pink, so I think mine has gotten some sun damage, which is unfortunate, but that's how it was when I bought it, so. This one was also pretty cheap. I got it on eBay, so. I can't really complain for the price I got it. I believe it was, uh, man, it's been a long time. I think, I think it was like $12, which is really cheap for this game. So anyway, let's take a look at the back. So we all know this one, just looked at it. Whoa, okay, we got a big difference here. So, no more yellow or checker design. We go, like, so yeah, so instead of, like, the big text here, we actually have it again, shown here, the Mega Drive logo. Sonic 2 logo shown again, and the same thing. One or two players, 16-bit cartridge. So we actually have completely different screenshots, which is really cool, so we're gonna take a look at that. So the first screenshot shown is actually the boss of as, um, as you're like, what? No, this is Aquatic Ruin Zone. <laughs> so we're starting off Aquatic Zone Ruin set, stop. man, I keep stumbling my words. We're starting with Aquatic Ruin Zone instead of uh, Chemical Plant Zone. But then it goes to Chemical Plant Zone, so we're, we're, we're backtracking a bit, which is interesting. And we have a different uh, Chemical Plant screenshot than the original one. This one, Sonic is going the other way for some reason, and Tails is like, <laughs> he's like, no, you're supposed to go this way. <laughs> so I'm not sure why he's going backwards. I'm pretty sure you only go right in that section. So, completely different screenshot from this one, which is during a loop. And then we actually have a different zone featured. We have a uh, casino night zone, which is pretty cool. Because that's not featured at all on the American copy. We only get oil ocean zone. And then we also get special stage for the final one. But it does not say cool because it's not during that section. In fact, it's just taken in the middle of the stage or right at the beginning. As you can see, the spikes. Oh yeah, and I see a little sparkle next to Tails, which means he did collect a ring. So this is, in, the, in fact, in the middle of the stage, as you can see. Rings for Tails rings is 15, so yeah, this is in the middle. And we have the purple special stage, instead of the uh, pink one shown here. So yeah, that's basically it. Ta-da! So, there's actually something pretty interesting. The manual is sideways. The original one, as we saw, is vertical. So, this one kind of represents the, uh, kind of like, uh, shows the box art more with the yellow things, tails going through, of course. On the back, it's pretty much blank, with just like some more text. So, uh, yeah. So let's open it up real quick. I believe the insides is pretty much the same, just formatted differently. So it, it is the same thing, just formatted differently. Like really tiny on this one thing. And you get the same thing translated, translated, translated to all these different languages. Which is really cool. I'm gonna hold it back so I can kind of keep it up. So yeah, this just continues the uh, introduction. There's the Death Egg robot. Take control. It's a lot wordier looking because of all the different um, languages. But, yeah, really cool. So it's basically everything we already looked at. Just with, you know, just with the, the different format. So, it's basically the same, just the logo is swapped out with the Mega Drive logo. Which is what it's called over there. So, really nothing different. Still got the little numbers there. The sticker is actually way better than my other copy. Hardly any scratches. This one has seen better days. I mean, it's not awful, but, you know, there's definitely some scuffs and scratches. Especially in the uh, corner here, there's a big line. But, yeah, so on the back, it is basically the same. This one says it's made in Japan, just like my other one, so that's cool. And yeah, so these are basically identical on the back. But, here is when things get really weird. So, instead of using the logo, they use text in, like, this yellow and blue? Which is really weird. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's kind of weird because like I mean it doesn't look better because like I mean uh, can you even read that far away? Like it's really weird. But this is much easier to read, and this is on the uh, Mega Drive copy. But yeah, it's pretty interesting. So yeah, that is what the original copy of Sonic the Hedgehog 2 looks like, and some of the different box variants. So it just depends on what bundles you got or where you live on what it would look like. But it's mostly the same. Now this is not anywhere close to all the different versions ever made because the Japanese ones are completely different and I hope to get them someday and when I do I will make a video on them but fortunately this is the only versions I have at the moment but they're really cool and yeah I hope you enjoyed the video and hope you enjoy getting a, a close look at all the different uh, variants and what it looked like back in the day I think it's really fascinating I love all taking a look at all of these old 
old school boxes and artworks and what it says and you know what all that stuff but yeah thank you so much for watching and i hope you have a great day